In an era when salaries and endorsements for professional athletes have skyrocketed, agents are becoming essential players in a multi-billion dollar industry. Being a sports agent can mean working with famous clients and getting front row access to some of the biggest sporting events. But it isn't all perks and glamour. In this video we want to explore what sports agents actually do, what skills and education are needed for the job and what you can earn in that career. Sports agents are legal representatives for professional athletes and coaches. They handle the business deals for their clients, negotiate contracts and help manage their money. In some large sports agencies, such as IMG or Octagon, agents deal with all aspects of their clients' finances, from investment to filing taxes. In addition to finding income sources, agents often also handle public relations matters. For example, responding to press inquiries and arranging interviews and media appearances. But the job goes beyond advising on legal and financial questions. Often agents organize the whole life of their athletes. Whether finding a rare pair of sneakers or booking the next summer holidays, agents are the first go-to person for their clients. Football star Mario Balotelli once even called his agent Mino Raiola to say his house was on fire. Raiola advised him to try and call the fire brigade instead. Being a sports agent is essentially an on-call job that requires you to sacrifice personal time, travel extensively and fill whatever role is missing from an athlete's life. But besides flexible working hours, what are the skills you need to bring to the job? If you want to work in sports, you need to understand it. It's not enough to read the sports section in the newspaper. A key part of the job is attending events to find talent that you can work with, represent and take to the next level. Therefore, a connection to the sports world is vital to becoming an agent. Many agents were actually once professional athletes themselves. Their athletic background earns them credibility and makes it easy to bond with other athletes. You have to make that connection and be able to see the situation from the inside. Otherwise, who is going to trust you to represent them? But it is not a requirement to be a former professional athlete to become an agent as long as you understand the sport you are working in. More important are excellent networking and relationship management skills. In many cases, sports agents do a lot of traveling to meet club managers, league representatives and potential clients. You may even want to link up with members of the press who write for leading sports publications. A broad network is vital to provide the best services to an athlete and can be a real competitive advantage. Having a great network with strong relationships also sets the stage for successful negotiations. Salaries kept growing in recent years. But earnings still vary a lot between athletes. That's why being a skilled negotiator is a crucial asset of professional agents. The skill set of an agent relies a lot on experience, but some of it can also be learned at school. The profession has never had the best reputation. In the eyes of club officials, some agents are seen as a bothersome and costly add-on they have to deal with whenever they want to sign a player. However, also the agents have evolved their skills to bring added value to the table. Besides the sports background, some legal or financial expertise is needed to cut in in this field. The world of professional sports has become very sophisticated. The contracts are complex and the amount of money you're dealing with can be astronomical. Since there's such a need for legal and financial experts, many of today's agents are lawyers who have a solid grounding in business and finance. A growing number of agents also have educational backgrounds in general business or sports management. In recent years, many universities launched programs to prepare students for the sports industry. It is now possible to study sports marketing, sports law, sports business and more. While these offers provide a narrow specialization, it is also possible to study law or business and specify on sports after school. A sports degree is definitely not required to be successful in the industry. What is required for some agent jobs is a license. This varies from sport to sport, but usually the National Association of the respective sport is giving out permits to be an official athlete representative. But before getting a license, it is worth knowing what you can earn as an agent. Sports agents usually are paid on commission. 
so it's in their interest to get their clients the most money they can. They generally receive between 4 and 10% of the athlete's playing contract and 10 to 20% of the athlete's endorsement contract, although these figures vary. NFL agents, for instance, are not permitted to receive more than 3% of their clients' playing contracts. Earnings range widely, depending on how many clients an agent has and how much those clients are earning. On average, a sports agent usually makes $40,000 to $100,000 a year. But extremely successful agents can actually become millionaires. The highest paid sports agent of 2019 was Jonathan Barnett. Having negotiated more than $1 billion in active contracts and transfer fees, his maximum possible commissions exceeded $128 million. The career of an athlete, and therefore also the earnings, can be a roller coaster ride. Unknown one day, and on top of the world the next. But a professional agent can be a factor of stability and the key driver for a successful career. Many of the world's most famous athletes probably wouldn't be where they are today without the guidance of their agents.